Today in Minecraft Hardcore, I'm going to rebuild what killed me two years ago in my old world, the dreaded Totem of Undying farm. I also want to get a full set of netherite armor to give to this guy, because that combined with the unlimited totems means that he shouldn't be able to die ever, hopefully. If you're new to this series, I'm playing Minecraft Hardcore and my soul is linked to a villager, so if he dies, I die too. Will we be able to survive today's missions? Keep watching to find out. Oh. And make sure you subscribe too, right now. Oh, it feels good to be back. <laughs> yes, we're back at the resort. There's not a lot of time to get mushy here. We've got a lot to do, so let's get started. Come see this chest. I've got something to show you. So in here, we have the stuff to build our raid farm. Now, I am so nervous to do this. You have no idea. I kind of don't need some of this stuff. Let me go put some of it back. But the first thing I want to do is build this farm to be able to get some totems. And I think I'm going to build it over there near the pillager outpost just because I feel like that makes the most sense. Oh, it's getting to nighttime as well. Okay, let's have a quick sleep and then we'll go over to... How? Okay. You beat the end of the dragon once and then you feel like this is appropriate. Okay, get out. Get out. This is my bed. You watch me sleep, not the other way around. <laughs> Sorry, that felt kind of rude. My bad. Let's go. So we sailed a short way across the ocean to select the perfect location for our brand new raid farm. This is where I want to build it. This is the outpost so you can go get bad omen. But I want to build it right here. I feel like this is the best place. I've just realized I need a villager as well. Yep. I uh, forgot the villager. But we can go back and get that. <laughs> For now, I just started to build the farm until I was rudely interrupted. Oh, come on. You're you just visiting your friends, are you? Why? <laughs> I think they're threatening me. They're threatening me over land ownership. This is unacceptable. You can't threaten me. I'm just out here building. Okay, they are actually kind of threatening. Can you just leave me alone? That would be great. They didn't leave me alone, so instead I went to obtain the villager and hoped that they would get bored and run away. Which one of you is it gonna be? I kind of want the vanilla villager. Gimme. Yeah. <laughs> my wish is my command. Right, let's get this guy over there. Why is he nodding like that? It's like he's accepting his fate. He's like, yep, I knew it. I was born in a test tube. I, I thought I'd be part of an experiment. You're gonna live underground. You know what? I actually forgot how dumb villagers are. Here is the perfect example. Why, why are you guys like this? Why are you... Your first intention is to talk to the squid and each other. Why? You're like-minded, similar-sized, brained individuals. You're just gonna watch it die? Is this what you enjoy doing for fun? You deserve to be in the hole. Let's go. Oh, yes. The raiders have gone and you've teleported down there. You're really frustrating. Come over here. All right, for now, just stay there. Okay, I need to put this guy in here. There we go. Quick little smackety smack. Welcome to your house. Okay, I need you to go. Yeah, this way. That will be perfect. No, I don't think you're getting out that easy. I don't think so. Sorry. Yeah, this um, this hurts me more than it hurts you. I promise. Can you just go into that one block over there, please? Just come on, cooperate. <laughs> so bad. I feel so bad. All right. Um, not my proudest moment, but it got the job done, and progress on the farm was going well. Right. We need to <laughs> water bucket these. Oh, I feel so awful. Why did you have to make me do that? You didn't see nothing, all right? Hey, it worked. Okay, I think this looks different to the other one that I used to use, but they should spawn in and float all the way down here. Perfect. Next, I had to dig down so that the raiders would fall to their death. This whole farm was super cheap and really easy to make, so shout out to Mr. Cat for the build. I think this is it pretty much done. The most important section, the escape route in case things go wrong. I also want to make, oh, I need some more slabs, but I want to make a section where I can't go further forward than this because that's what I did last time. I can still reach this, but I went too close and then he just messed me up. You know the rest of the story. So let's get out of here. Turns out getting out of here wasn't going to be simple. It got a little sketchy. Oh God, no, no. Whoa! Okay, this is not going to plan. This is not going to plan. This is not going to plan. Oh! Why did there have to be a cave there? I kind of need to get up as soon as possible because I don't want it to be nighttime soon. Why? Where are all these guys coming from? I have no torches right now. Is this why you're doing it to me? It's pretty mean. Just putting that out there. 
Hey, and it's waterlogged. Sweet. Okay, we all good out here. I hope we're fine. I hate leaving you in just a random location. Okay, you're good. God, that was stressful. I definitely need a better escape route. Maybe an escape hatch down here would work. I need ladders. I'm going to get some ladders. But for now, let's finish this thing off. It's sign time. Right, we need a sign here. Rip. Ravager. Yeah, I'm hoping this bit's going to work. Otherwise, it's going to be real messy. That looks good. Minecraft physics in full force. And that is the beautiful machine done. With the farm complete, it was ready to test. But first, I needed to get rid of the copious amounts of mobs that are spawned in the cave areas around the farm. Oh my god, there's about a thousand zombies outside. What? Go away. You're ruining this day for us. What the? Where did you all come from? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the where are you guys coming from baby zombies too what are you up to up there oh my god yep this is bad this is bad guys i've messed up <laughs> ah! don't blow my stuff up music disc music disc was there no music disc from that that's kind of that's kind of mad right, let's get this place lit up enderman okay yeah, there's endless caves in here. I guess the only thing we can do is test this out. But I am terrified, actually. I'm so scared. <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, also, my pickaxe is going to die. Craig, no, I need more diamonds desperately. So the idea is we go get Bad Omen from there. And then we bring it back here. And they should make their way into the farm, hopefully. I still need to build a little place for our guy to hang out so that he's not ruining everything all right first up let's make the safety barrier this is where i'm gonna stand so that i don't end up just killing myself or spawning in vexes that's the idea the idea is that the vexes don't spawn at all anyway i also need to try and stop this guy from going into the farm because then he's gonna get harvested and that's <laughs> that is not ideal so i thought Let's build a bunker somewhere where my villager friend could hang out while the raid was happening and could be completely safe just in case something went really wrong, like Vex's. But it turned out like this. Okay, I probably took this a little bit further than I was supposed to, but I really like it. <laughs> One thing I wanted to do with this series is make my building better because what the previous series lacked, rest in peace, was good building. I had horrific structures everywhere, so I want to try and improve on that. And one of the things that I built is this the bunker which has a dodgy button on the bottom which is fine but this is where our villager is going to stay when we're out there battling the raid because hopefully they can't spawn in here maybe spawn on the roof but this place is uh obviously watertight no one can get in here and take my villager's life we can sleep in here we can store a couple bits in here as well but i think all that we've got left to do now is test this thing which i'm a little bit worried about actually i'm terrified i don't know if this is going to go well but it's worth trying let's do one raid and see what happens come on buddy in you come that's right i know he's looking at it. he's like what is this i've been stuck behind a tree for ages that's right this way buddy this never mind this this way this what do you think what do you like what are you saying he's looking around you like indifferent okay i'll take that but do i need a sword or is an axe gonna be okay man i really don't want to die here <laughs> at least i have the escape hatch i can run away if i need to right let's do it we're not gonna be a noob today we're revisiting history but hopefully not repeating it give me your baddest omens please i think i'm running out of food as well which is just not good hello fellas how's it going good to see you get down there get down I can knock you into this ravine if I want to. <laughs> oh, you didn't die. You're supposed to die. Oh, no, it's getting nighttime. I don't have a bed. Oh, this is bad planning. Bad, bad planning. This thing looks great, though. I kind of want to live here now. <laughs> it's kind of got a nice vibe in here. I kind of want to put some more lanterns in just because I can prefer them to torches. But overall, this is looking all right. Wait, no, no, no. You need to stay here. Stay here guard this place with your l no not with your life do you have okay as a totem it should be fine it took way longer than it should have but i finally found the banner man i was looking for finally i've been waiting for you you've been taking way too long oh, then two spawning okay that's how this works Ooh. oh no i need you to die i need you to die normally okay bad omen acquired dude that could have gone I, I had to help my breath that was awful oh i thought it was over oh god yep i'm messing this up 
Oh, what is wrong with me? I should not be able to play hardcore. I should be keeping my totem in here. I am, I have issues. Is this a great? Is this a preview of what's to come? No, stop. Oh no. Oh, here they come. Yep, here they, <laughs> here they will come. <laughs> I'm stuck down here with pillagers, bro. This is awful. I just want to get out. No. Stop. Let's hope the actual raid goes better than that. <laughs> okay, this is going to start as soon as we get over there. My... I shouldn't need a shield, but I'll probably need this. Okay, let's do this. So I need to run straight down underground. Pray for me. Just pray. Here we go. Raiders remaining one already? How? Where are you? Un I bet you're underground, aren't you? I mean, the idea is we stay down here and they just make their way over because they want to attack the villager that's in the ground. He's going to be He's gonna be in the cave, isn't he? I need a bell. That's what I need. Oh, no. There it is. It worked. Yes. He died, though. That's an issue. We didn't want him to die straight away. <laughs> Did I make it too low? Am I going to have to move this upwards? What'd you drop? Nothing? Unacceptable. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, they're coming from over here. This could be bad, actually. <laughs> let's see what happens. At least my villager is safe. Am I safe? We're about to find out. Oh. Oh, I can't reach him from here. Okay, that's an issue. I guess I could do this. That kind of works. I just don't want to get too close. If I get too close, it's just going to be annoying. <laughs> Okay, some of them just straight up die. I think they drop their um, totems anyway, even if they die. This guy is dodging me like crazy. Okay, raid farm is working so far. I have to get closer though. And I also kind of need to sleep. Oh, I'm scared. I'm real scared. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of the safety barrier and only get as close as I need to. I can hit that. Apparently, I can still hit that, but let's see. As long as nothing attacks me from behind, we should be okay. Okay, decent, decent, decent. So we need to kill them before they see me. I think that's a problem. I need to, <laughs> I need to recognize uh, Vindic. What are they called? Evokers. We need to recognize Evoker legs. But so far, this is working. Mini XP farm as well, which I think we're going to need for today. There's going to be a lot of building in today's video, I think. But if this works and we don't die, great things have happened. I need a sweeping edge sword. That's what I need. Just to make sure that everything dies instantly. And we'll get Hero of the Village if we complete these. Head on over to the resort and then we'll get free stuff <laughs> at discounts. Okay, zombie. All right, buddy. Okay, zombies. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is going on? Yo, the raid is going down quick. How do they keep floating, though? That's going to be an issue. Yeah, that's definitely going to be an issue. He didn't die straight away either. I need a sword. My heart is racing. This is flashbacks right here. But last time I was just in this random box. You're gone. Whoa. Oh, it's kind of dark down here, actually. But yeah, last time I was in a random box with no escape hatch. Why did I even do that? Because I could Elytra out? Idiot. Ooh, we got some saddle, unbreaking, piercing, and quick charge. That's nice, actually. I'm going to take the saddle. I'm definitely going to take that. And as many emeralds as we can find. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. They just fall and die. Okay, we need to look out for evoker legs. I think they're going to come very, very soon. I need to be close. But I just need to start swinging as quickly as possible. I wonder if there's a way to make them die automatically. Two left. Haven't had any evokers yet, I don't think. Okay, I think the evokers are up next. This is working, though. So far. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We should put a trap door on this over here because... Or encase it with an iron door so there's a very small chance that they could fall down here very small but it could happen i'm not sure i'm feeling cool about that actually oh, look at that raid bar go down this farm is so good it's really cheap as well <laughs> that will never not be funny oh god that was them that was an evoker okay when i see the black legs or the black robe that's when my heart has palpitations two left. I think my next thing I'm going to get is a bell so I can just check that they're all where they're supposed to be. And then that'll be complete. See what I mean? I don't know if he's floating down or not. Oh, I can check on my buddy. Yeah. I think my worst fears have come true. I think he's stuck somewhere. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, we're just going to wait then. <laughs> what do we get? Oh, we got a witch hat. I was not expecting that. 
There it is. Totem of Undying. We have the two of them. That's so good. Get a little emerald stack going on. The witch hat. That's another thing I want to do, actually. I completely forgot about. Move the creep. Oh. Oh, okay. Just need to, to be patient. I just want to complete run one raid because I think last time I didn't even complete one and it was game over. So we're doing better than last time. They're always coming from over there, actually. Okay, this raider has been stuck for a while. Hoping it is not an evoker. We're going to have to go and check it out. See where it's stuck. Hopefully not underground, but we definitely need a bell down here. What? Uh, <laughs> there's loads of the enchanty boys over there hello raider are you stuck right, let's clear these guys out first we do not want the oh you were stuck okay you're an idiot hey we won we did better than last time guys let's go we got the village hero you know what i'm talking about we did it <laughs> let's see what spoils we received we have many saddles glowstone dust Ooh, oh that's actually really good so this is one we got from the raid as well so from one raid we got five totems yo that's good that's really good we got some more emeralds as well take those i don't think i need many saddles but i'm definitely gonna take these bad boys okay this works i am beyond pleased extra lives all round <laughs> That's step one complete towards creating our ultimate villager. Infinite totems required, and I didn't die. We're doing better than last time. Next on our list is curing the villager that accidentally got turned into a zombie last time. We need fermented spider eyes. Do we have... We must have spider eyes somewhere. We also need brown mushrooms. I don't know if there's any brown mushrooms around here. All right, quick trip to the nether just to see if I can get a brown mushroom. Oh, am I not wearing... I'm not wearing gold. Oh, this could be a problem. I just need one brown mushroom. Somebody please lend me one. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> That's all I need. I just need one. I'm going to go get it. Yoink. Thank you. And let's go find an eye, and then we're good to cure this villager. If he hasn't despawned. If he's despawned, I'll be sad. Spider right here. Spider right here. Give me your eyes. Did you not give me your eyes? Oh, this is going to get bad real quick, actually. Uh, steak. Eyes. I just need eyes. No, give me your eyes. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> he's running away. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I won't hesitate to kill the baby. All this for some eyes. I don't know if it's worth it, you know. Come on, I just need one set of eyes. No. Yes. Okay, got him. Right, we need to sleep desperately. Go, go, go. Back to the house. Back to the old house. Ooh, that was a close one. Right, fermented spider eye is this. Yeah. Nah, go away. You ain't getting my villages today. Actually, that might not have been the best choice of words. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I have definitely messed up here. Two villagers down. You could have died too. Oh, God. Yeah, this guy was in trouble as well. Oh, no. Okay, does anyone need health? I need to stop running around at nighttime. It's just not worth it at all. Two dead ones? Oh, he had the fortune book as well. I can't remember what you had, but we'll replace you. That was inconvenient, but something showed up that lightened the mood. <gasps> No way. Oh my god. I don't think I have a fish though. No way. He's back. I think I've got a fishing rod. Oh, I really want him. I want him. You know why? Yeah, you run. You run. I'll, I'll befriend you. Don't worry. You want fish? I'll give you fish. Stay right. Oh no, he's fallen. <laughs> fish. I have a fish. It's going to take more fish, isn't it? Than that. Where'd it go? There it is. It's stuck. Okay. I've only got two fish right now. Yeah. Oh, best friends forever. You know it. Um, where do I put you? I kind of want to scare away the creepers and I need to get a name tag still so you can sit right over here. Yes. Skinny's back. Why is your nose like square between your eyes? That's actually weird. I've never noticed that before. And you can also have this raw salmon. Enjoy. We got a skinny. <laughs> I can't remember what I was doing. Help. Oh, yeah, we were brewing. I don't believe it. I just need a name tag. I'm sure I had a name tag around here somewhere, but I guess not. Right, we need this. So let's make it super awkward up in here. Then we need fermented eye, gunpowder, and then we can heal this guy. Now, don't get too excited. 
This guy is an archer. Okay, that is done. Awkward potion. Fermented eye? Oh, wait. Do we not need awkward potions? Hold on a second. I messed up. We just need to put this straight in there. Okay. We learned something new today. There we go. Potion of weakness. Minus four attack damage. I never use potions against enemies in Minecraft. Maybe I should. And then we just need a golden apple, I think. Just a regular golden apple. Pleasure doing business with you, fella. This cat should now protect you. Right now, we splash. Oh, did I give myself it? Oh, no. And then this. My boy. You shaking. That noise is kind of horrible. It's a bit terrifying. I want a name tag. I need two name tags. I need... Will you stop this? What's wrong with you? This guy's going to die. We're, and then we'll be three villagers down. But at least we've saved this one. Stop! Stop punching him! Jeez, man. I guess we should also go achievement hunting at some point. That'd be really good because I completed all the advancements. Right, you know what? Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Stay there. Woohoo! Zombie doctor. Oh, God, it's raining. Oh, I have not learned my lesson. How did that just happen? Does that happen when you cure them? Because I'm sure it was daytime just now. I don't like that. I did not like that at all. No, please don't rain. Rain is the worst. Yes, he's back. And his trades are... Yo, they're not that cheap, actually, to be honest. Welcome back, fella. Now we can get rid of your prison, your weird prison. All right, we need some name tags. We need to get some name tags as soon as possible. With that done, it was time to move on to our second part of the plan for the ultimate villager, netherite armor. I've been shearing my little collection of sheep over time to get enough wool, to make enough beds, to explode in the nether. You get down to the appropriate Y level in the nether, you put down a bed, try and sleep in it, goes kaboom and hopefully you unearth some scrap rinse and repeat until you find enough let's see how many beds we can make and then maybe we can head over to the nether and see if we get some netherite well ancient scrap to get netherite you know what i mean okay i can make 21 beds <laughs> but i don't know how i'm gonna carry them all i don't have a shulker box yet and i feel like i need to be even more mentally prepared for that we need netherite armor for that, definitely. Okay, let's start with these. We're going to find out if we uh, explode at some point anyway. And let's go to the nether. Fellow, we're going. Actually, I need a gold something. Yeah, let's take, take some boots with us. And then I need space for, I guess, a emerald to keep this guy safe. For now, we're going to put all our wool in here. Planks in here, iron in here. Just because we're going to need to prepare to carry stuff well let's see what happens craig is looking a little bit worse for wear should we repair him i don't even know if we have diamonds let me have a look here we have two diamonds that's so bad <laughs> i might do one repair on him let's see how much this is gonna cost how much is it gonna cost me two okay i'll take that just for now come on you get out the sea this way this way this way get in there perfect okay this shouldn't be too problematic but we have a villager, so it could get very bad. We're going to do it, I guess, around here. If I get you over here and just... No, 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 no. Chill out. Chill out for a second. I need to dig down, and I need to go to way lower than this. I think it needs to be about 8. So if we go down to Y10, that should work. Oh, is this all the way down? Oh, no. Okay, this way is not going to work. <laughs> Let's try heading over here. We need just somewhere that's got... A whole load of netherrack. That's it. No ghasts, too. Could this be the spot? Let's see. Hmm. Is this going to work here? Okay, I think we should be good down here. And this is where we get our bed. So we do this. And then we step back. And then we blow it up. Now, I'm going to put my villager probably in here. Just so he's fully safe. I know where he is. I don't know how much of this debris we need to find to get full. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. This is not ideal. Actually, you know what? His head likes to get stuck in netherrack. So I think what I'm going to do is just build him a little prison. I, I, it's becoming quite a theme. But I don't want him near all this stuff anyway. So but if I can keep him away from the exploding beds, I mean, that would be great. For your own safety, buddy. I'm sorry. There we go. I don't think ghasts will attack him. So we should be fine. Right. Let's try and find ourselves some netherite or ancient debris to turn into netherite. I think we need 16 debris to be able to make one full set of netherite. I don't know if this is going to blow me up or what, but I have my I have my totem just in case. We're doing all the dangerous stuff today. Oh, God. This seems too close. Oh! Ah! Oh, 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 God. Yeah, that burns. 
That real burns. Okay, how do I stop that from happening? Oh my god. That almost ended me. I bet I don't have any debris for that either. Holy. How do I stop that from almost killing me? I'm genuinely scared. No, oh, I right clicked and I missed. Oh god. All right, let's get as close as we can. I don't want to die. I just don't want to die. Okay, that worked a little bit better. <laughs> so I just need to back up. Is that what it is? Oh god, this is going to be awful. I just know it. We need so much of it too. <laughs> oh my god. It's so good that we've got some of the... Uh, well, we've now got unlimited totems because I always do dumb stuff. And one day, it's going to get me killed. Okay, how do I... There's got to be a safer way. This is going to kill me. One wrong move and it's all over. I have to use a totem. Oh my, I did not remember it being this bad. I think before I used like blast protection armor, didn't I? That's what we did before. We went full bomb squad. Yeah, I might have to do that because I'm going to die. Maybe we should switch to this. We got protection two on the old boots. Maybe I was taking too big of a risk. Let's see what happens next time. I mean, if we do end up dying, we've got the totem anyway. It should be fine. <laughs> Okay, that went a little bit better. I think I went a bit too far because have we not found any yet? I'm definitely doing it at the right level. Like I'm a bedrock here. I think being burnt is just part of the game. Craig's about to die. Oh no. Okay, I need to go back. We found zero. Zero so far. Not ideal at all, but at least my villager friend above me was safe. Oh wait. Oh no, there's a ghast. There's a ghast. No. No, 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 no. 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 Okay. If you want to play this game, let's play it. Let's play it. I will win. <laughs> Every time. I can't even use a pickaxe to get you out. Right, let's go before things get real bad. Okay, so mission unsuccessful. And I had run out of diamonds and my diamond pickaxe was almost dead. So I bought a temporary one from my toolsmith. And for the first time ever in this world, I went to mine for diamonds. And no joke. It was at least an hour until I finally came across some of the light blue stuff. Thank God for that. I was getting worried. Real worried. Oh, this is looking good, though. Hold up. How many we got? Oh, it's looking good. This ain't too bad. This could have a set for a little bit. Right, then, Craig, do your worst. Was that one? Hold on, Craig. Craig, 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 Craig. Fortune? Craig. You've done me dirty, buddy. You gave me seven? Not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more. <laughs> Both of them rolled just one? That's crazy. Then something weird happened that I'd never actually seen before. What was that? What? Wait. Wait a second. Why is there... Why is there random silverfish blocks here? Are we near... Hold on, what is... What is going on? Are we near a stronghold? I thought we found the stronghold already. Since when was that a thing? Am I missing something here? No, I wasn't. And there was nothing there apart from... Ooh okay, we found some more. Oh, we definitely found some more. How much is there going to be this time? There's water. Above? Where are we? There's an axolotl in here. Oh, okay. It's just an axolotl pond. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's loads of diamonds here. Look at this guy. So cute. Right, I'm just going to quickly nab these diamonds. Don't mind me. Fortune 2. Better do better this time. 8. 10. In comes the water. 11. Yo, Fortune 2 is not doing it right now. Okay, this looks better. How many we got? 17. Okay, this works. Now, how on earth do I get home? Oh, it's nighttime. We know how nighttime goes in the resort. The resort needs some better security. Maybe we should just make some iron golems. Would that work? I think we need to do that, actually. Why haven't I done that before? What's wrong with me? It was actually funny that I just mentioned about getting security at that very moment because something had happened. And it wasn't good. Oh, no. Something bad has happened. Oh, no, 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 no. Who is this? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, and yeah, you want some too, huh? Great. Okay, we need to get... <laughs> for goodness sake, one of our guys is dead. 
Okay, we need to heal you, which I think we can do already. Oh, this was not worth the trip. Are you survived? Are you good? Okay, you're fine. Our blacksmith has just died in front of our very eyes. That's terrible, actually. Okay, we need definitely need some more protection around here. But at least... At least I got my diamonds. This is fine. It'll be okay. A disaster has happened. Skinny, what were, what were you doing around here? Those creepers. See, these creepers are here. Why? I don't even... No, stop. Get out of here. Okay, we've got way too much stuff right now. I think this guy is protected because he wasn't getting killed. We just need to add a fence to this, maybe. And a gate. You've died for a second time. <laughs> Oh, I can't. I'm actually gutted that this guy's gone because he had so many of the... He had the diamond armor trades. Bad times all round. All right, I return with gunpowder. I need a splash potion of weakness. And my last... Is my last golden apple? And I'm going to use it on you. I think I'm going to because you have the... You have the good stuff. And I've weakened myself again. Right. Bathe! Make sure you don't die next time. I'm acting like it was his fault. <laughs> it was definitely not your fault, right? You are now caged in. It looks awful, but it's how we're going to have to operate right now. Okay, there you go. Right. I'm sorry, but at least he's going to be cheaper now, I guess. We need security. We need security. Let's go and get some iron. Oh, we need pumpkins, though. I think I have some pumpkins. Oh, buddy. That is a lot of iron. And then I do have pumpkins right over here. Yoink, 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 yoink. Okay, let's get some iron golems going. As long as they don't, like, run away, I guess. Is that a thing that iron golems do? All right, let's trim these up. Do you think five iron golems will be enough? <laughs> I'm thinking yes. However, they do like to pick fights with my villagers, so I'm not too sure about that. All right, then. Welcome to the family. Huh? Why hasn't that worked, then? Let's do this. This. No. There we go. That's better. Right. One of you. I think it's because it was on a moss block, maybe. Then. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. He's going to attack him. No, 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 no. Do not touch. Do not touch. Um. Oh, this is bad. I need to protect you. Do not kill him. Do not kill him. Okay. You should be safe now. I'm just going to do it three high just in case. Man, my place is a disaster right now. I hired security and now they're trying to attack our own brethren. Hey! Hey, he's back disaster averted um how's it going buddy that was a bit scary wasn't it one iron for emeralds oh but i need to move you back though because you're not gonna replenish your stock god what awful turn of events that was so it turns out we need to save our support system our bouncers our security guards until our friends are healed Actually, I think they should be fine. As long as they don't go and attack this guy. <laughs> I don't think he will. You won't, will you? You won't do it. Just get a couple more in here. Let's see what happens. If I put him nearby, let's see what happens here. You going to attack? No? Good. Okay, we need one there. And then we're going to have one over here as well. The only thing is, I don't know if it affects the golem farm. What? Is, what? There we go better unfortunately i was right the free roaming security that i had added way too late had broken my farm so i needed to come up with a solution this isn't the most efficient way for golems to work but if i spread them out evenly enough it should be fine and hopefully yeah this is back in action now okay so are you listening fellas are you listening don't go past this line this is your borderline do not approach it yeah, yeah, yeah don't even approach it don't cross it don't approach it don't even think about it if you do i'll slice you up anyway let's <laughs> let's put our diamonds away i think we've done a lot today the only thing we really need is that netherite and i feel like i've just been super unlucky so what we're gonna do is change into our golden boots i think our fella is over in his prison so i'm gonna leave him there for a minute keep him out the blast zone and we're gonna try and scan for some netherite do i have enough pickaxe it's not looking the best but we could craft what am i doing <laughs> i just tried to make sticks you didn't see that we could craft some iron picks right now and i think everyone else is going to be safe so far protection you're automatically protected you're dead you're dead you're dead and you're protected. Okay. <laughs> I think these guys... Oh, wait. Oh, no. How did you die? Oh, man. Yo, what the... 
everyone's dead. Literally everyone. Was it this tree? How did they get in there? Oh, I don't believe it. This is the saddest day. And it's definitely my fault. I didn't think they could get in, but I think they've got on that tree and then just waltzed in like it's nobody's business. Unless they could get up here. We need to add something so that does not happen again. Don't believe it, man. I why? Why are zombies like this? I was going to say the temporary solution is to put this on, but they can still get up here. That's a terrible solution. I'm just going to have to make it one higher on each side because then that means that they can't get a free ride into here. Once that's gone, they shouldn't be able to get onto here if I put one... Like there? Yeah, because even I can't get up there now. Lantern's going to have to go. Gimme, gimme. Like that. Like this. And this should be fully protected now. I think so, anyway. Get that lantern back on. I can't even put that lantern on there. Okay. Uh, This. And then this. Hey, that looks nice. Right, let's sleep before disaster strikes again. Then we're going to the nether. I will get this villager made. Well, at least you guys have survived. That's because I've got the adequate safety procedures. Man, these villagers are going to have to start making babies because the test tube's going to be... <laughs> test tube's going to be used in overdrive soon. I need to replenish. Right, I'm going to the nether and I'm not taking you with me. There's explosions to be had. I need 16 scrap. I currently have zero. Ah, the hole of doom. Let me see. I think I need to go a bit higher. I think it might be a bit too low because I shouldn't really be hitting bedrock. So let's continue this tunnel, but go a little bit higher. Here we go. Woo! That is always going to scare me. Come on, give me some scrap. All I'm asking for is a scrap donation. No one wants to give me one. Woo! Okay, that one's a little bit close. This gravel is severely inconvenient. Why does this exist? I will not quit until I have this netherite. There's no way I'm quitting. Wait a second. Am I? Oh, I'm underneath the floor. Oh, no. Wait, what I said didn't make sense. I'm underneath the nether floor. Oh, that's a big issue. <laughs> I'm underneath the sea. The sea of lava. Oh, I'm going to have to go a different way. I went too high. I shall continue this way instead. Oh! Oh, oh, okay, finally. Jeez, that, I, I actually thought it was time to think this stuff doesn't exist. But we got some. Let's go. Okay, I don't think Fortune's going to work on this, but I'm going to give Craig the honor anyway. Love how there's loads of lava here, just for the occasion. Don't know where you come from. All I had to do was change direction. Oh, wait, there's two. Yes, here it comes. Our first two scrap. 14 to go. Oh, God. Hidden in the depths. Let's go. Okay, I'm happy about this. And this will be number two. Hey, another one. Okay, that's three. <laughs> this is more like it. This is the pace we want. Oh, two more? No way. Where were you before? This is my last bed for now. Go on, bless me with one more. It was, in fact unblessed okay i need to go back get some beds but this way is definitely the way we got five scrap we need 11 more oh no oh no oh no calm it calm it yeah 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 i saw you coming for me i didn't think you'd spawn down here didn't need to take it that personally did he <laughs> he was ready he was like, I swear there's a human down here. And he wanted to take my life as quickly as possible. From here, I just crafted as many beds as I could, blew them up in the nether until I found the debris that I needed. Oh, three. We got three. So that makes me up to seven. I need four more. And then we're good. Yes. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing here? Why? Why does this have to happen? <laughs> I forgot that this was an issue when you're doing tunnels like this. <laughs> oh, God. At least give me some bacon, bro. Not in hardcore. You are too powerful for hardcore right now. Is he dead? He's, yep, yeah, his meat is gone as well, isn't it? Oh, man. Okay, I need to remember those things exist. Uh-oh. 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 Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? No, the bread is coming in clutch. Okay, that was bad. Also, don't have any gold armor now. Oh, no. The trip back is gonna be awful. I still need two pieces. Two. You thought that was a close one, huh? Check this out. <laughs> No. <laughs> ha! 
How did that blow me up? I've done the same that I've done in every other bed. I've gone through like 50 beds and not killed myself yet. Turns out, I've just done it. Interesting. I know. I know you're upset with me. I get it. All right. I'm upset with me too. I can't believe I just did that. How? I don't understand how that killed me. Well, at least I got the achievement, I guess. But yeah, not ideal. <laughs> Luckily, I have unlimited totems now, so we're good. One or two. How many is it going to be? Oh, it's going to leave me hanging on one. I need one more. <laughs> and then I'm giving this all to a villager. I don't believe it. With one debris to find and on the verge of giving up for the day, this happened. I've just stopped recording, but I was on my way back because I've run out of beds. And there's one right here. I was clearing out this lava just to see because it took up most of the whole kind of sphere of where it exploded. And I found this behind some of the lava. Gimme. Give me it now. Oh, God, there's two. This is great. Fantastic news. Yeah. Okay, we got it. Now we just need to go home, create this armor, and then we're good to go. Which way is home? Like this way? Oh, I've got these guys to deal with as well. Because I haven't got any gold. My gold armor broke. This is not ideal. Oh, I just got a chest plate from that guy. Okay. Yes. Inbuilt protection. I'll take it. Let's get home. Yo, we're almost home, but I've just realized I need gold. We need, I think it's four scrap per ingot. So we need, I guess, 16 gold as well, right? However, they are not going to like me digging up their gold. If there's even any around here, there's some up there. That should be safe to get. And I've got fortune too. So I should be able to get loads. Here we go, the good stuff. I don't know how much this is going to get me, but I feel like it's going to be a lot with Fortune 2. Oh, yeah. Literally a stack. Wow. <laughs> so if I need 16, 16 times 9 is 144. So I need another stack and a bit. Okay, I've got the goods. Let's get out of here. No, no, no. Stop. Stop this instant. I don't believe it. Go away. Why are they so powerful? Wait, hold on. They actually do a lot of damage. <laughs> Gold acquired and my pig enemy crushed. It was time to head home to another disaster. What is going on down here? You can't have them. They're in a tube for a reason. Guys, stop. Stop this instant. I'll take the I'll take that chest plate, though. You're much better than this one. We all good back here? You okay? You've been keeping everyone safe, hopefully. Are you good in here, too? How? How have you done this? This is impossible. Oh, no. It's not impossible at all. I've made a fatal error. Shame on your name. You wait till I get name tags. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. I spent a golden apple on him as well. Man, that's my bad. <laughs> that is my bad. Anyway, let's uh, not talk about that anymore because that's awful. All right, here we go. Have I figured this out correctly? I hope I have. We have lost a lot of villagers today, my friends, and it's, uh, it's all my fault. Right, so we need to smelt this stuff, don't we? Let's go and grab it quickly. So our good stuff is in here. 17 debris. I'm going to put leather in here. I think that's it. I'm going to grab a totem because, you know, I used one by accident <laughs> put the debris in uh does it work in a blast furnace i don't actually know let's have a look i'm hoping so oh it does it's so much quicker as well all right yoink and in you go i'm gonna go get our friend because this is all for him if this doesn't work i'm just so annoyed <laughs> our armor is almost dead as well and we've lost the armor that got us all of this stuff in the first place we need to rebuild. We need to be rebuild stronger. We need more security, and we need security that doesn't kill our own. Hello, friend. How are you doing? I know it's been a while, but I couldn't let you come to the nether with me. Not with all those, uh, not with all those bed explosions. That'd have been awful. All right, this way, sir, and then we should get you some netherite. What is the thing that we need to apply netherite to armor? I can't actually remember what it's called, which is really bad. Oh, look at it go! <laughs> it's a smithing table. 17 scrappies uh i didn't give us a lot of experience i thought it would smithing table i think i have one right don't you have one you do okay right we need to clear some bits in our hot box i need all of your armor please no Yo, give me it back you want me to swap that's unbelievable you better not take my enchantments because i'll be so mad what the you just took my boots give me my give me my boots back Buddy, give me my boots back. What, 
Where did my boots go? What do you mean? You thief! You, you you've told you've taken my boots. They're actually decent boots as well. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna need them boots right back. There we go. Oh, oh no. He's actually stripped my enchantments. Oh no, wait, I'm wearing them. Never mind. Uh, do I get my enchantments back? I'm hoping so. Let me test it with this actually. Oh no, I've lost them. Oh, it repaired it. Okay, that's kind of a glitch. That shouldn't be allowed, but it's taken my enchantments off. Oh dear, I I've really messed this up. <laughs> I didn't know what was going to happen. All right, let's make our um, our netherite, which is like this. Are you picking fights with the golems now? You need to be careful. I've got some of your armor. Hey, netherite. Give me the netherite, please. Got four netherites. Now, we're going to upgrade all of this gear. Netherite boots. Netherite leggings. Netherite chest plate. And netherite helmet huge can i at least i'm gonna i'm gonna try them on because i earned this actually this is where's the helmet oh yeah oh, i haven't worn this in a very long time that's what i'm talking about okay i'm gonna take it off now and we should be able to switch with this guy problem is he's stolen my enchantments which i'm really not happy about i guess kind of taking the enchantments off and then repairing it is actually quite a good trade i'd rather have the enchantments to be honest where are you going where are you, i've got something for you look i've got all of this for you it is pre-worn now but i've got it for you let's see what happens yeah 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 look at this look at this give me my stuff back buddy you are fully netherited up and now all i have is unbreaking protection and feather falling on my diamond armor but it's not about me it's about you come back what are you doing i need to punch you i need to tap you on the forehead oh he still took a heart of damage it's not too bad though two three four it takes four slaps to go down a heart hey that's not bad that is not bad i kind of want to try it with diamond to see what happens if it's the same your boy is taking the netherite for himself let's give him all diamond apart from the boots we should be fine so this will do one two three four one two three four does netherite not make a difference there's no way right how do i get this off him how have i given gold one two three Oh, it does make a, it probably makes a little bit of difference. I need to figure this out. Anyway, we, we've attempted our mission today, which is giving my boy full netherite. So now I have full netherite with unlimited totems. I have created the most powerful villager to ever live. We did it. And I also need to give him some health back because that was not fair. I'm sorry for punching you so much. My bad. All right, there you go. I feel like we accomplished a lot today, actually. Yeah, yeah, you stay up there. <laughs> The ultimate villager has been created. Now, now I just need some netherite as well. Can't believe I just gave it all to a villager. That's right. You've just witnessed hours and hours of work to create the ultimate villager. Full netherite armor with access to infinite totems of undying means that this villager should be invincible, which means he isn't going to get me killed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. That'd be awesome. Subscribe if you're brand new. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.